Hello, my name is Kevin Sukan, and I'm a Solutions Architect here at AWS. In this video, I'm going to show you how to migrate your Amazon EBS volumes from GP2 to GP3. When it comes to storage, solid state drives have become a standard for production and high performance workloads. AWS has an elastic block storage SSD offering for mid to high performance workloads known as general purpose SSD. The standard across many AWS services, including EC2, was the second generation of these general purpose SSD volumes, known as GP2. In December 2020, the third generation of general purpose SSDs was released, called GP3. The GP3 offering made significant improvements to the performance customization aspects over the previous generation. With GP2 EBS volumes, the performance was closely coupled with the size of the volume. For every one gigabyte of capacity, GP2 EBS volumes would get three IOPS of performance. With GP3 volumes, performance can be customized independently from the storage capacity, allowing even small capacity volume performance capabilities up to 16,000 IOPS and 1,000 megabits per second throughput. Another major change with GP3 volumes was the baseline IOPS performance. The GP3 volumes start at 3000 IOPS. By comparison, GP2 volumes would have to reach one tebibyte in size before reaching the same performance capability. For something like Windows Server, which usually has a C drive much smaller than one tebibyte, upgrading from GP2 to GP3 is a significant performance improvement. Lastly, the price of GP3 volumes is one of the largest improvements compared to GP2 volumes. Currently, GP3 volumes offer all of the enhanced performance capabilities while providing up to 20% lower price per gigabyte than GP2 volumes. Amazon EBS enables you to modify your volume type from GP2 to GP3 without detaching volumes or restarting instances which means that there are no interruptions to your applications during modification. In this demo, we will show you how to migrate your EBS volume from GP2 to GP3. So let's dive into the demo. For our demo, we're gonna log into the EC2 console. As you can see, we already have a test instance running. And next, we're gonna go to volumes. And here we can see our volume running and it's GP2. Before modifying a volume that contains valuable data, it is best practice to create a snapshot of the volume in case you need to roll back your changes. However, this step is optional. To modify this volume, we select the instance, go to Actions, and Modify Volume. Here, we can select the volume type. And this is where we're going to change it from GP2 to GP3. You can also change the size of the volume. You can also change the IOPS that we discussed. So we're going to change that to 4000. And we're going to change the throughput to 150. Next, you click on modify. You will be prompted that if you are increasing the size of the volume, you must extend the file system to the new size of the volume. So just remember, if you do increase the size of your volume, you will need to go in and do that afterwards. For, for now, we didn't change the size of the volume, so we're just going to confirm and click Modify. As you can see, the volume is being updated. Just bear in mind, it can take up to 24 hours for a new configuration to take effect, and in some cases, longer. Once complete, you can see the volume state changes to in use. And as you can see, the IOPS is set to 4000 and the throughput is set to 150. I hope you found this informative and thank you for watching.